Today we go fishing in South Louisiana with Warren Coco. And we eating fish tomorrow night for supper, and this is what we're gonna be eating. So I'm gonna clean one for y'all. You come in about the second row, and you make a cut. Make a good sharp hatchet. Some people use a machete. This is what you call you capping that fish. You're taking just the top layer of that armor off. You go all the way to the head with it. Now what I do, and people do different things. People use a machete, I take a hatchet, this same hatchet, and you're separating the meat from the husk. Though Thomas call it riding the husk, you're just going back and forth, letting away that hatchet head do the cutting. They got several different ways of doing it. And everybody has their own technique, but it all boils down to the same thing. We're gonna have some garfish bullets tomorrow night. What's pretty, huh? Now, what I do, I take a good knife and you find the backbone. It's just like a backdrop of the deer. And you just follow it down. You keep peeling. And all you do is you follow that rib cage. All the way down. See, that's all bone right here. You ain't losing no meat. That's solid meat right here. That's ribs right there. You're leaving all that in the fish. Tomorrow night we're making some garfish balls with this. What was it? What's a box of meat? I think you're sitting on. Oh, uh, this one. Yes. Yep. <sighs> it is just like taking a backstrap over there. Oh That's yeah. That's all you do. I'm proud of that, boy. It's pretty. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it is pretty. Now that's it. This is the old time uh, cleaning board. Warren Coco gave me some soppers. It's years and years we've been using it. And this is how the old French people clean garfish that I was taught. And we're over here in South Louisiana enjoying it on the bayou. Ain't much left here to eat. Huh? I bet them alligators do. Oh, and I can throw that right there? Yep. Put the alligators work on there. That board works good, huh? I made two of them out of them. Washing my old skinning board. I'm gonna put that in my duck call shop. Like when I'm finished. Overhead and pipe racks and stuff. And then I can make that in my shop.